Hi there, Emily Eldridge here of Emily International, and I want to share with you what I have observed through my work to be the top three secret struggles of leaders. Now, the work that I do, in case you don't know, is I release people of their inner struggles and I align them with their highest vision and purpose, and my specialty is working with leaders. Anyone in leadership positions, especially CEOs, executives, entrepreneurs, social activists, humanitarians, philanthropists, people like that. Anyway, so I've observed that leaders have certain unique struggles with which they deal, and they're also usually secret. I use the word secret on purpose because a lot of times leaders don't share how they're feeling, not even with each other, for a lot of reasons, because they're afraid of that if they reveal some of these vulnerabilities, then those will be exploited, or because they don't feel like they can trust other people with how they're feeling, or because they're afraid that um, it will undermine their leadership abilities or their, the perception that other people have of them as leaders. And yet all the same, it doesn't matter. I have seen, I've worked with some of the most confident people that you could ever meet, and yet they have their own set of inner struggles. And that's why I work with them, because my intention is to free our leaders of their inner struggles so that rather than leading from a place of ego and fear and trying to prove something, any of those kinds of things, that they're actually leading from a place of clarity and wholeness and peace and wisdom, fully aligned with their highest purpose and vision. So, with that said, I have observed there are th the top three secret struggles of leaders that I've observed are as follows. The first one, not enoughness. Feeling like no matter what they do, no matter who they are, no matter how much they accomplish, no matter where they come from, no matter how much they learn and achieve, all of that, it's never enough. It's never enough. There's the, the, the secret belief that I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not accomplished enough. I'm not educated enough. I didn't go to the right school. I didn't come from the right pedigree. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing. I am not working hard enough. And the real, and what I've seen in a lot of leaders is that it's like, no matter how much they work, no matter how much they do, it's never enough. They still can never get to that place of feeling like it's enough. And I'm going to tell you right now, that that has nothing to do with what's happening on the outside and everything to do with what's happening on the inside, with the beliefs that those leaders and that you as a leader may be carrying as well about your own feeling of not enoughness and inadequacy from your own life experiences and the things that people probably taught you along the way. So that's the first struggle. The second struggle that I've observed is this reality that frankly, Professional life may be great. Their professional life may be totally on track. You may be making a ton of money. You may be achieving all these wonderful things. You may have really reached the pinnacle of your profession and of where you ever imagined yourself being. And yet, you don't have the relationship that you want. And yet, you don't know how to talk to your husband or wife. You don't know how to talk to your kids. Your kids have issues. And yet, something's not right. And so what often happens in situations like these is that people who are such great achievers in one area of their lives will often run to that area to avoid the other stuff that they're not good at, which creates an imbalance and it causes more struggle and a lot more pain. Which leads to the third thing that I've noticed, which is loneliness. A lot of leaders, so many leaders with whom I've spoken, feel very lonely secretly very lonely. It doesn't matter if they're surrounded by crowds. It doesn't matter if they're surrounded by the team of people. It doesn't matter if they're given awards and go to banquets and, and, and fundraiser, fundraisers and all these exciting things. It doesn't matter. They still feel very lonely because it's like they say, it's lonely at the top. When you're a leader, it can be really hard to know who to trust, to know in whom to confide, to know with whom to share your struggles, because if you share it with one of your employees, that might undermine their perception of you as a leader, for example, at least that's your belief. Or um, the belief that no one understands, and especially as I said, it's very pervasive among leaders to not share with each other their struggles for a lot of reasons, for, for very reasonable professional reasons. So this can be a real problem, is that feeling of loneliness. And that feeling of loneliness can also cause leaders to not reach out for help and ask for support. And that's why I'm here.
And that's why this is my specialty, because frankly, as someone who has for years worked with people to release them of their inner struggles, you know what? I've seen that leaders are the ones who need it a lot, a lot more than they may appear to. So I want, I'm curious, I would love to know if these three struggles resonated for you. If you have felt these struggles, if you're feeling these struggles right now, or if you feel other struggles that are related to leadership, these are simply the top three. There are a lot more that the people with whom I work, that my clients typically struggle with and that I release them of. And that leads me to another point, which is these struggles, these are not that hard to release. They really are a lot easier than you can imagine, and that's the work that I do. I work with leaders to release them of struggles like these and other struggles. So if you happen to be one of those leaders, if you happen to know one of those leaders, please, please, please do reach out to me. Connect with me. I'd really love to hear about what it is that you're struggling with, what it is that you'd like to talk about, and um, to discuss ways that I can serve you and that my work can really transform your life and take you to a whole new level, a whole new level of freedom that you never imagined having. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been helpful. My name is Emily Eldridge with Emily International, emilyinternational.com. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.